triple C. I'ma make them bend the knee. Rolling with the triple C. Don't really got the heat. Two minutes left. Always oh, going arm triangle. God, Yuri, Yuri, I don't know how is it that he survived this stuff. People will, uh, Yuri's got a heart, man. You put him to sleep. Like, he's got a, oh, my God, like, literally, like, zen. Like, he he, he loves the warrior mentality, that that concept of uh, of dealing with the mind and how, how tough the mind is because he sunk in here, man. Like, this is a really tight arm triangle. What's up, everybody? Welcome to this episode of Fight Feedback. I'm your host, Henry Cejudo, a.k.a. Triple C. And today, we're going to be breaking down the one and only, the oldest light heavyweight of all time. Yep, I'm talking about Glover Teixeira. Guys, I'm going to be breaking down what is it that makes Glover Teixeira good. His distance, the fact that he's able to bring not war, but guerrilla war. He does things according to his gifts, and he's become the absolute best in the world by... Anyhow, enough talk. Let's take it to the big screen. Okay, so here we have Glover Teixeira. Look, look, I want you guys to look at this. 41, 41 years of age, 36. And obviously against a, a, the number one contender, guys, to the number three. You know, same reach, same weight, same height, different age. And that's what I love about Glover Teixeira. And look, beginning of this fight. Look, look, at, look, at, look at how many blows he's taken. But yet he's still able to march forward. He's still crawling. He's still coming forward. Like if you hit the dude, like he, he knows he's in urgency. He knows he's hurt. He knows he's not feeling well, but it doesn't stop him from wanting to win. Looks for the takedown. The tenacity that Glover Teixeira has is crazy. And this is where Tiago Santos probably messed up. He, went, he did a lot of loopy or even straight punches when you really want to bring punches down the middle. But that didn't stop Glover Teixeira from running him to the cage and just looking to get this man down, that urgency. And I think that's partially what makes a guy like Glover Teixeira special. Yep, once he's there, once his hands are locked, look, already. I want you guys to see how is it that he picked him up. Look, he's picking him up, he's picking him up. I want you to see how he lands in mount as he falls. He's already looking to mount this dude. Look, boom, falls. One step, one step, and he's already above the hips. Bah, talk about not wasting time. And I think his transitions, if anybody in the UFC, is Glover Teixeira that has the best transitions to any submissions. Ah, I love it. You guys see what I'm saying? He'll throw that, he has that, he'll throw that right hand or that, or that jab to get in closer. This is what makes Glover Teixeira good right here. Boom. You see what I'm saying? His chance of recognition, recognizing the distance. Right now, he, he threw that right hand. He threw that right hand, but look. Look, as he throws that right hand, he's covering distance to be able to find the legs. He gets the guy to prop up, to defend up, and he's on the legs. Right behind the butt. Smart from him. He's comfortable here. Look, his head's not too deep. Boom. Gets the takedown. A guy like Glover who had like, it's uh, right here, bop, inside. You can take you can take a piece of that. Like there's times even with fighters, I'm just like, yeah, it may be the better wrestler, but there's certain things that they could do, whether it's a setup or something like that, to be able to adjust my game. And this is, and I was talking to John Jones about that. I'm like, Glover does a really good job of getting takedowns. How is it that he uh, finds them and gets them with through a setup? So watch, look at, look at this, look at this top control. Again, he cuts the middleman out. Yep, getting him, getting him to go off fours. Like Glover's good here. He'll hit you, hit you, hit you. Allow the tone over to eventually look for the choke. Time round out. As you can see, but watch. This is what I love about Glover. One push, one push with that hand. Boop, climbing over with that opposite leg. Cut it. You know he's not climbing up anything. He's getting from point to point A to point B as soon as possible. Ba, hitting him, hitting up top, lets him turn over. Yup, anticipates and looks for the choke. You know, Glover is, uh, Glover is, is the man. Like I put Glover with Randy Couture, like, uh, like the top of like some, you know, the top two guys who have really done it. And, and, and they're, and they're, you know, in their forties. And that, that's, that's one thing that I will say about Glover, though. He does get clipped a lot. He does, but he takes that chance. 
Yep, but he went back and he relied. Yep, he can't be in range. If Glover stays in in that boxing range, he's gonna get hit. He's gonna get hit. Right now, he's 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 on bottom, but he's uh nice. You guys notice that transition there? Glover has the ability to look for takedowns even when he's on his back. You know, Tiago better, had a better chance of keeping on his feet rather than playing this game with a guy who's a better gra grappler than you. Goes immediately straight for the double. You know, finds it, I guarantee you, oh, transition right away. That's where he's good. This is where I take two cents off of him. There's not like a step, step. It's I'm lifting and lifting. Okay, I'm going to get to the best position possible. He doesn't waste time in there. I think sometimes as fighters, we could do that. Yeah, nice job by Glover. Again, transitioning. You get a big heavyweight like that dude on top of you. Now he's either gonna hurt you, he's on top of his hip. There's only so much you could do. Turn your back, he's gonna choke you, go up front, he's gonna hurt you. That was that. Glover to Sheriff, man, being the number one contender at the 40, at 41 years of age. Impressive, man, impressive. And even when I was helping Yuri Prohachka get ready for uh, for Glover, I'm like, I was giving Yuri like those exact same looks, like me, myself, um, giving him those exact same movements where I'm gonna fake, fake, and then try to get to your leg. Fake, fake, get to your leg. And here we have it, Glover Teixeira versus Jan Blahovich. 42, again, you know, he, he's not too, uh, same height, same weight, same, uh, oh, he's got a, he, it really doesn't matter. Two inch reach advantage for, the Polish nightmare, like beautiful. Notice how you, that's what I'm talking about. Let's reframe that. Look at this. He started. I, I want you. I want to show you guys. Okay, rewind that. I want to show you guys a tactical central quick on that. And this is again. This is where Glover shines. He is literally throwing his combinations. Because notice he went right hand, left hook, and he throws again. But this time he throws. He throws. He already has him going backwards to eventually find the legs. You see what I'm saying? Like he'll, uh, boom, fake up top. He does a really good job of, uh, boom, and then drop into his double leg. Lock in the hands. He's good here. This is something that Glover does very well. He'll press you and then he'll pull you. Yep, he's got a beautiful double leg there. And again, always looking for position. Look at how he controls up top. He's above the hips. Look, two feet off the cage. Remember what I was telling you guys? Whoop, caught him there, caught him with that left hook. Now he's gonna be looking for, every time he gets you this close, he'll look for takedowns. But in this case, he's throwing punches. This is where you don't wanna be. You don't wanna be in this area with Glover. Bah, beautiful hook. Caught him there. Right here. Don't, sl don't sleep on Glover's, uh, don't sleep on his hands, man. This dude's got a, this dude's got hands. Boom. Yep, again, once you get two feet to a feet off uh, near the cage, this man's taking you down. Right here, he's already inching in. Bop, throws that. Get, all right, all right. Uh, uh. Now, he, now he's starting to look for level change. Yeah, that was a little different. That one wasn't so clean, but the concept of him looking for takedowns when he's about two feet to a foot away from the cage is what makes Lover to share a very smart fighter. He understands his style. Yep. He's lacing up the legs. Like this is this is where he's good, man. If he gets on top of anybody, if he'll mount you, if you don't fight Glover like Yuri did, he's gun he's going to defeat you. Boom, paps up, gets up top. Yeah, covers is super heavy. Super heavy here. And Glover will literally let you turn over. Bah! And there it is. Now he's looking for that choke. Yeah, one hand and he's already thinking about it. He's already, he's not even in all the way, but look. He already extended his hand. Yeah, he let him, man. That was a wrong thing for him to do. That was a wrong thing for Jan. You see, he thought about it and says, I'm out. And look at this, look at, look at DC, look at the way he's like, man, we need to we're all just old people. That's pretty cool, man. You know, Daniel knows, you know, as you get up in age and the fact that he was able to win it, 
man. That's kudos to him. Now, they can, now you know, when they, once they both retire DC, you and Glover can go play bingo together. That's awesome. Yeah, Glover to share, man. Even though I coached against you, and though how Buri beat you, take you out, uh, I just want to let you know that I respect the heck out of you. What you've been able to do, it's uh, it's trendsetting. It's uh, it's crazy, man. 42 years of age against a 29. And now we'll say something about this fight. Again, one uh, one inch reach advantage for Yuri. You know, a, a four inch reach advantage for Yuri once again is the fact that this man, this man is different. This man is literally, he really is a samurai. Like getting the chance to coach your, uh, Yuri, Yuri Prohachka, it was, uh, it, it was, it was cool because he, he's different, man. He believes in whatever it is that he's doing, whether it's movement, whether whatever it is, and he commits to it. And that's what made him dangerous. I think my biggest thing for Yuri against his fight with Glover is he's going to come. He's going to come. It, it, it was that, it was those jab finks of him covering this until eventually go. Anyhow, let's hit the play button. Yeah. Yeah, there it is again. Throwing that right hand. Throwing that right hand to eventually find the legs. But I will say something with Yuri. Yuri fought. Yuri fought this dude. Beautiful takedown by Glover, though. Again, right hand throws it. Gets close. Already looking with that forehand. Yeah, look, look at how you look at how crouch Yuri was. He was still able to find it. He was still looking for that. Look at how crouched he is. And then yet smokes it and still finds his leg. Boom. High dives and he's running forward, which when you when you're able to use pressures, they almost become grips. Throws it right, boom, but look, he pressures. He continues to keep pressing. It becomes it becomes a grip to a certain sense. Yeah, but Yuri fought this. Ooh, beautiful knee by Yuri. Bop, bop, boom, through that knee. Super creative, you know. Uh, Yuri wasn't letting this dude off the off the hook. He wasn't just grappling with him, you know, hitting him, getting up top, doing what he, you know, doing what he's doing. Um, oh, nice. Yep. Yuri fought him. This is round two, and Yuri's not letting him set his feet to take him down. Yuri is. Uh, I don't like that from Yuri, but whatever. But he's fighting him. He's fighting him up top. He's fighting him on bottom. He was able to, to not get Glover to lock up those chokes. You know, Glover was beating him that the majority of that fight. But what Yuri was able to do was the, you know, the, uh, the difference in that fight. And it all came down to heart. And that's one thing that I will say because it's like, it's like when you're not, it's like when you first miss weight. Yep, yep, that's what he does. Now he's going to get him to roll over. He's going to try to get him to roll over. No, it's not showing it here. But if Yuri was to roll over, which is what Glover wanted, he was going to look for that choke. And there's only like 10 seconds left, too. Yep, does his thing. I love to learn from Glover in these positions. These positions right here, I feel like it'd be money. Boom. That's what it's almost better to do. Just stay there. Stay, stay grounded with Glover. Don't turn your back and fight him from there. Another knee. If you guys noticed, that was a second knee in three rounds to the face. Watch. Bah! You know what I mean? Like, like again, still found the leg. But if Glover could get better defensively, he'd be a better, way better, smarter, and way better fighter than what he already is. Going to the body. Yeah, this was fight of the year, man, which is crazy to say that for light heavyweights. Typically, it's the lower weight classes. But this fight right here, I was off my feet. Boom, takes him down. Ends up in a good position. I want to say this was in Singapore. Yeah, finds him. But, the, you know, Glover, like, no, you have him hurt. Stick with the hands. I don't know. I don't understand why. Well, there's still a lot of time left. It's not, it's not bad. But if it, whenever it is that you do get somebody hurt, you have to finish them off with the hands. Nice. Gets the takedown. Good side control. And now he's up top. This is where he shines. It's two minutes left. Oh, he's going arm triangle. God, Yuri. Yuri, I don't know how is it that he survived this stuff. People will... Uh, 
Yuri's got a heart, man. You put him to sleep. Like, he's got a... Oh, my God. Like, literally, like, zen. Like, he, he, he loves the warrior mentality. That, that concept of... Uh, of dealing with the mind and how how tough the mind is because he sunk in here man like this is a really tight arm triangle super tight and yuri was able to survive that sometimes all this sweat helps for you to uh, kind of create space because you're still able to move wrong wrong i don't know why glover did that i don't know why he fought there that was uh tactically that was wrong Look for the, like, secure that takedown. Nice double jab right hand. Yup, had him hurt, had him on skates. Keep it there, keep it there. He, you're hurting him. Look, you hurt him, you can finish him. Why do that? Why? Now this man's up top. Like, I, I think if there's one thing that Glover needs to understand is like his rest periods. You know, there's positions where you could stall out or you could kind of catch your breath. You're winning the fight, man. You know, why do unnecessary, why do unnecessary work when you're struggling? And we got a reversal here. And this is, this is the end of the fight here, man. It's, it's amazing what Yuri was able to do. And just the heart. Look, the same thing he did for, for, uh, for Jan. Ooh, same thing here. That's a bulldog choke there. Not a bulldog choke, but a rear naked choke, but from a different position. There's only literally, I think, like 40 seconds left. And by the time he submitted, it was like 30 something. Let's look at the clock. One in the fight, 35, 34, 33, 30 seconds left. 30 seconds left. He he he, uh, he did what everybody out what he was doing to everybody else. He he got a little taste with Yuri. Let him kind of let him go back to his feet to be able to catch that choke for the victory. See Glover Glover, just go to your back, bro. Like go to your back. Like there is no reason for you to stay in all fours. You're giving too much body. You're in danger. You know, but. Kudos to Yuri Prahatska, my brother. You know, super proud of you. You pulled it out. Um, you know, and uh, and yeah, guys. I like to now take it to what I call the three T's: the techniques, the tactics, and the threshold. Let's go. So the techniques, the tactics, and the threshold. Today, I would like to start off with what makes Glover Teixeira really good. I'm about to say his tactics. Even though, as you guys saw me analyze that last fight, I really didn't like a lot of the mistakes that he did against against the uh, Yuri. You know what I'm saying? Like going to all four, staying there. When he had him hurt, he uh, went for a takedown. But his prior fights, he was able to really understand more of the game. It was just that one fight. But this is why right here, Glover is good at what he does and why he became the oldest uh, light heavyweight champion in history. I think only second next to Randy Couture, either, it's either him or Randy Couture, but either way. So for that reason, just because of the mistakes that he did with Yuri, I'm gonna have to give him a nine again. But this is why, this is why Glover strives is because his tactical sense, like he bring, he doesn't bring the war, he brings a guerrilla war. He knows where to fight you. He knows when he gets you two feet off the cage that he's gonna go in for that takedown. Um, the technique, let's go technique, man. Let's, let's switch it up here. I think his technique is pretty solid, but there's one thing that I don't like from him and there's one thing that could get, could get him hurt and could get him knocked the hell out against Jamal Hill is his defense. Sometimes he'll break defense and he don't do anything. If he doesn't go for the takedown, he'll just stay, he'll stay in that boxing range and with the, with the younger cat like Jamal Hill that throws straight rights and that's pretty athletic with the speed and his power, you could be a little bit in trouble. But I do like your takedowns, Glover. So for that reason, your technique, I'm gonna have to give you a 7.5. 7 just because you get hit a lot, man. I would give you an eight, but I'm just like, man, an eight seems just too much for me but and again man this is th th these are all rooms for opportunities for everybody every time i analyze them for them to get better to be able to look at these scores and be like okay 
you know i'm getting some advice some pointers from a guy who's been there before who has won something just like me uh, on top of that a gold medal and on top of that another ufc belt you know yes it's true and then the other the last one is a threshold you know um and again i go back to that yuri fight with him I go back to these, all these other fights where he was able to really kind of weather the storm against uh, against a Tiago Santos. He's able to weather the storm against a lot of these fighters to look for takedowns. But in that Yuri fight, there's something that happened that just didn't chemically just just Glover kind of gave it away. And I mean when I say that. So, but his gas tank is good. But I'm just analyzing two according to his last fight, but not all fights, but. Uh, overall, if I'm to give him a score for the threshold, I'll give him an eight. I'll give him an eight. That's not bad. Can you add this stuff up for me, Michael? Because I'm a little, I'm a little off in math, man. I one of the guys I suck at math. So and yeah. So this would be 24 and a half out of 30. What grade would that be? You know that, Michael? What would that be, Phil? If you had to grade it, be a it's, B like a, it's like a B, 80, 81.6. Yeah, it's a B minus. Yeah, B minus. But he's been able to become a world champion, is because he does know all of these. You see what I'm saying? Like he does know all that stuff. So, a 24 and a half out of 30. That's awesome. So I think Glover Teixeira. I know you have a fight this weekend. Want to wish you luck. I um, wanted to break you down. I respect the heck out of you. And hopefully you can regain this title. But hopefully you can make a lot of these adjustments with the techniques, the tactics, the threshold. Guys, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys just watch Fight Feedback. I'm your host, Henry Cejudo, a.k.a. Triple C. And we will deliver. And we are out! So thank you guys again for watching. It means a lot to me. So you guys remember there's more breakdowns, there's more technique, there's more tactics, and there's definitely more cringe. So make sure to subscribe and click on that button. I'm out!